it's all for you Yeah, yo There whenever it matters and even more when you feel like it doesn't Protect you so you never feel like you wasn't Know I'm right alongside you, here by that I'm behind you But always got you, end the discussion, nothing means more First one to offer his shoulders for what you preach for Thought I saw the eyes of the world until I seen yours And know that I ain't see a better view yet I'm with whatever, so don't ever you fret Know that you covered, not a hurdle or a heartbreak To change what a part take Cause none of them won't ever get comfortable in your walkway My job is to aware you, fully loaded to prepare you for all of the above that I'm never letting get near you but still in all give you every advantage I found couldn't find a better fit for them along with my crown and since the baton was passed I've been down cause feeling's not an option and dad is not a noun not at all I'm doing fine. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. How you guys doing? We're good. How are you? How are you guys protecting yourself from the uh, pandemic? Are you guys safe, staying safe, and all that good stuff? Definitely. Yeah, we are just hanging out inside. I hear you, man. I love to see that 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 family, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. That's a powerful thing, man. Absolutely. That's like. That's like straight out of the Cosby's. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but. I, I want to thank you for taking the time to take um, to talk to me for a little bit. Okay. Uh, now you're like a, you guys are like a, 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 a viral sensation <laughs> since that uh, video hit Insta uh, Twitter and Instagram. Um, I know the paparazzi is probably coming after you guys <laughs> for interviews left and right. Uh, I can see like Good Morning America and all that good stuff coming at you guys at. at at one time so it's just it, I, I love the video because it shows the beauty of you know ingenuity take it nothing out of make it nothing out of something which is a beautiful thing um so i, I, I applaud you for that and i thank you for that and the, the and the reason i created that as a now was a way to change the narrative when it comes to men of color and fatherhood mm -hmm. and seeing videos like that are, are really important so again i salute you and i thank you for doing that um mr sherman thank you there's no problem i'm, I, I'm happy to do it <laughs> thank you so my question is where did you come up with the idea of building that uh, ch child like uh roller coaster for little guy uh, well, I, I was just thinking, I mean, in, the, in the gym, we're always in the gym, he's always following me, and I'm trying to figure out things that I can do for him, uh, and he has this little car that he liked to ride in, we come down here, and he liked me to do all kind of things with it, and he's, it's exciting to him, so I'm like, well, maybe I can build a, roller, build a roller coaster in the backyard or something, and my wife at first was like, you know, she wasn't, she couldn't see it, so, right. I thought it was a bad <laughs> so, I went out and I did it, and uh, my, my biggest thing was hoping that he enjoyed right. it. So I was worried that he wasn't going to like it. Uh, then when we put him on it, he didn't want to get off of it. So um, I, that made me happy that he didn't want to get off of it. Cause, you know. And, and I, I just saw the happiness in his face. He was just so excited to be on there. <laughs> because unfortunately, because with the pandemic, you know, you don't have those amusement parks open. And right. so I, the, the great thing I love about that video is that you created an amusement park in the backyard. Yeah. And I thought that was awesome. Um, so how long did it take you to build it? Uh, I'd say altogether probably about maybe a week and a half because I was doing other stuff too. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out how can I do the car. How can I fix that, that his little car in order for right. it to stay on the track. Um, right. So I was thinking and thinking and I went through a few things and then I was like, well, okay, maybe this will work. And so I did it the way that, I, that you see it on the uh, track, and, and it worked out just fine. So, but the whole That's thing from start to finish probably took me maybe a week and a half. You know, that because other stuff was going on. So. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, how how were you able to get the material? Did you have the materials already, or did you have to go to Home Depot to pick up the material I, to build it? I masked up and put all my my protective wear on, and and I went to Home Depot and picked up the, the stuff that I needed. I actually right. had to make a couple of trips because I, I I wanted to do more than I, I didn't right. have enough uh, supplies, so I had to go back again. So, but um, I got everything I needed from Home Depot, so um, it worked out pretty good. That's awesome. So now that you have this uh, celebrity going on right now, has anyone reached out to you except myself? Have like um, the news outlet reached out to you yet? Because you know that's going to happen eventually. <laughs> 
what uh, a lot of people are coming through me um twitter and instagram and i'm telling him like oh you know shade room is supposed to be into that he's like who's shade tree and like, it, it doesn't hit him as hard i guess he doesn't right. feel because he's not really big into like the media and stuff but yeah a lot of people have reached out to me um complex posted um espn posted shade room posted like mm -hmm. i said um good morning america posted them this morning um, so yeah, it's it's gotten around, and I got a lot of emails and stuff. So. That's all. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if they frustrated because I'm not taking it as I'm not as excited about it. So because I haven't heard uh, so many things, but but um, as long as the little man's happy, I'm mm -hmm. I'm happy. So that that was my biggest thing. My my main goal was to make him happy. So. And that's the beauty of it is that I see the exuberance in everybody's face. Um, the dynamic between um, daughter and father. How how did you feel when you took that video? How did that make you feel? And then um, when it get viral, how did you feel about that? It's heartwarming um, to see them two in general. Um, they're like best friends. So um, actually, when we first put him on the roller coaster, I was on one end and my dad was on the other end and we were pushing him back and forth. Um, and then I was like, okay, let me step back. I was like, you just run the whole way. I'm going to record. Um, you just get a video of the two of y'all. And he didn't know that I was going to like post it. I didn't think it was going to end up being that big of a deal. Um, so I posted the video and then it just popped off. So. That's awesome. Yeah. But the one thing I worry about that too, is that when vi videos get viral, uh, viral on Twitter, it, it kind of gets hard to get the source where the original content come from, because it spreads like loud wildfire. And so everybody's trying to scramble like, and trying to find out who originally made that video. And the beauty of your video is that, you know, when they found it, they found it because it was you, you made the video. So when you posted on Twitter, it got uh, posted, posted simultaneously, mm -hmm. but they knew it was your video. Yeah, and they, the, they were giving me credit most of the time, yeah. That, that's good because that's the most important thing too because like a lot of times you see a lot of uh, videos that get reposted you don't know where the original source come from mm -hmm. and so you're like um, searching for who did the video mm -hmm. you know and it takes weeks or even months to find out you know mm -hmm. so um, so what's the so what's the next thing for you guys so what are you guys going to do next well, we're uh, going um, to extend that one we, was, uh, we weren't finished with it we're going to make it bigger uh, mm -hmm. figure out how to curve it um, so we're going to go from there and awesome. see what happens. That's, that's awesome. Um, have you had neighbors asking the, um, <laughs> to be a part of the, the, the roller coaster yet? <laughs> well, I had some neighbors say they're going to bring the kids and, uh, you know, for a ride, but you know, it, it's, it's his, so, um, <laughs> whatever he says, so. <laughs> Oh, man, that's awesome, man. Again, guys, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. That video is beautiful because it's 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 out there now. And usually when we do back in the days, I don't know, you probably remember like me, um, uh, it, uh, VHS <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> videotapes, and you had your um, family memories just dedicated to family memory to you guys to watch. But the beauty of social media is that, you know, Nowadays, people are willing to share those uh, memorable moments. And again, I thank you for sharing that memorable moment with us to the world. Thank you again. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Um, if you, when you get everything um, together, please contact me again because I would like to see more. Please. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good one. All right, guys. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You, you too. too. All right. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that small interview. Um, I think it was important to interview them because it's important to highlight the beauty of family, you know, because, you know, because of the virus and people are uncertain. So sometimes it's good to share good news and positive news. And again, I thank you guys for joining that chat room. Um, I'll be back in another couple of hours with another interview. But again, thank you guys. Peace.